Tom Kitchen and Dominic Jack. Edinburgh's dining scene is almost unimaginable without them. Together the pair oversee the Kitchen and Castle Terrace, two of the city's five Michelin-starred restaurants. Earlier this year they opened the Scran and Scally, a modern, family-friendly pub restaurant. Big Hospitality caught up with Tom and Dom at their latest venture, and we began by talking about how their lives and careers have evolved, from young chefs to successful business partners. The thing with Dom and I is that we met as young commie chefs at Glen Eagles Hotel, you know, at 17, Dom's a bit older, he was probably about 20 then, you know. And we've been on this incredible adventure that we went to London pretty much at the same time. I worked with Pierre Kaufman, you worked with uh, Michel, Perrault. Michel Perrault at Fleur de Seine. And then Dominic went to Paris, and I followed him to Paris, and I stayed for about a year and a half in Paris and then went back to London. Dominic stayed for eight years? Eight years. Yeah. <laughs> eight years in Paris. So we've always had this incredible friendship, this incredible bond. And I think as young chefs, we, you know, as young chefs, you work together, you create a bond, and you go through the pains of the industry getting to where we are now. So there's that incredible bond between us. So now to be business partners and each have our own individual restaurants, it's, it really is a, you know, you have to pinch yourself sometimes when you stop and think about it, because it, it, this is the dream, this is what we dreamt of all those years ago. Yeah, yeah. And your respective restaurants have obviously got Michelin stars each. Yeah. Um, is it fair to assume that you're sort of hoping for a Michelin, Michelin success here as well? Or? But I don't know. I mean, you naturally, you, you don't, we don't cook for Michelin, we don't uh, aspire. Of course, we, we both love another star in our respective restaurants, we'd be lying to you if not. But here it's very much about good food. But then, one star Michelin is good food. But that is not the aspiration here. This is really, you know, an approachable dining, something available to every everyone. Um, and we've designed the menus that you can have the sausage and mash at nine pound fifty if you want. Yeah. But if you want a lobster at thirty pounds, you can have that as well. Exactly. The ninety cover pub follows the nature to plate philosophy that Tom and Dominic have put at the heart of their restaurants. But with those venues more closely associated with fine dining, the Scran and Scally seems a bit of a surprise. What was so appealing about opening a pub? Yeah, I think so. It's a family-friendly place. Mm -hmm. We've both got uh, young children, and we would like to go and eat somewhere with our kids. Yeah. And uh, this this is it for us. Right, okay. yeah. Somewhere you can go with your family and just relax, enjoy, eat good foods. So it was sort of somewhere that you thought we would take our family here. So that's the well, sort of place yeah. I think I think the, the you know the pub the pub, the pub is something which is already very close to our heart because in our youth we spent so much time there. <laughs> but you know now that we both have young families, you know it's somewhere that you know people can come as a family, but you can come as a couple, you can come as a you know whoever can come. But it, the unique thing about this place, we believe, is that. But they've been called the Scran and Scally. The Scally mean little scallywags, and that's what Dom calls these wee boys, the wee scallywag. Actually, in the corner over there, we've got a wee scallywag corner, so we've got like a DVD, we've got the toys, and that kind of thing. So the kids can really, you know, hopefully go in the wee corner, mum and dad can enjoy their lunch, and it's not too stressful because, as a with young families, sometimes lunch can be quite stressful, yeah. you know. But <laughs> so hopefully, that's what we're trying to achieve. But it is very much a pub, um, but it's a modern day pub, you know. It's, these kind of places have sprung up all across London and England for many years now. Yeah. And we'd like to think that this is one of a kind um, in Scotland. And it is a very fine line between pub and, yeah. and restaurant and gastro pub. So I think, you know, I've always fought against the word gastro pub, yeah. but I, I can't seem to get away from it because this is a modern day pub. It, the, the days of, you know, drinking dens, people sitting in there, spending lots of money, smoking, they're finished. So we'd like to think that we're being. Uh, Proactive and you know thinking outside the box and um, yeah, but modern. Yeah, more modern. As Tom and Dominic's footprint in Edinburgh continues to grow, the city they operate in continues to develop. Domestic and international tourism in Edinburgh is on the up, and according to Dominic, the dining scene has changed dramatically. Edinburgh in the last 10, 15 years has exploded. Too, and, yeah, and the quality of restaurants that have come through. Yeah, 20 years ago there was, there was nothing very much in Edinburgh and Scotland where you could go. The, in, the, in the last 10 years there's been a big explosion. Why, why do you think that is? What do you think the appeal has been for, for big designers yeah. here well, as opposed to sort of... I think Edinburgh is such a, such a desirable destination for people in the United Kingdom but also people travelling from all over the world because it's got such history. So after London, 
Edinburgh is the most visited city in the UK. Um, and I think, without a shadow of a doubt, now Edinburgh is, after London, the biggest foodie destination in the UK. It really has something for everyone here now. And uh, we're by no means perfect, but we're striving for excellence. And, you know, Edinburgh is uh, Edinburgh's on the up. Watch out, world. <laughs>